Hey guys, Sword here, and this is going to be Operation Bedrock number 23, and it's been probably two weeks since I made the last episode, as you guys probably know that I couldn't work anything on the software until I figured out what was the problem with it, but I still haven't really worked it out yet, is that it seems like it works like now, but before then, it doesn't work. I just don't know what went on that day. For that whole entire day, nothing worked whatsoever, and I'm sad because... I said that we were getting a lot of things done in this Operation Bedrock, but sadly, I've been lazy, and as well as that new games are coming out, so my focus is on those games rather than Minecraft. Oh my god, that's that's really irresponsible of me, really, is that I've been putting off Operation Bedrock for a while now, I kind of lost a little bit of motivation, as well as my friends as well, they kind of lost motivation to play Minecraft more often because all the popular titles are out. We got Borderlands 2, we got Assassin's Creed 3, we got Halo 4, we're gonna get Black Ops 2 in a bit. Also, I do have Resident Evil 6, but not many people are Resident Evil fans, so I guess I didn't really take the attention away from it. But Borderlands 2, Assassin's Creed 3, Halo 4, and then Black Ops 2 is gonna come out in a few days, which I'm gonna get. I already have Resident Evil 6, Borderlands 2. I'm not really much of an Assassin's Creed fan, please don't hate me for this. I just, I couldn't play Assassin's Creed when it first came out, so I didn't really get into the series. So, yeah, sad, I know. And then we have Halo 4, which just came out, and I'm playing that. I'm playing a lot of multiplayer out of that. I'm already like level 26 on that one, on con or multiplayer. I like to play multiplayer. I haven't really yet touched the campaign yet because I want to play with that with my friends. And then once Black Ops 2 comes out, I'm going to be busy with Black Ops 2 as well. So there's a lot of games that are coming out that I'm going to be taking my focus onto that rather than Minecraft and I'm sorry but I am planning on doing more fun things to do in Minecraft Xbox 360 I have a lot of ideas I want to do all the projects I still want to do but it just seems like it's gonna take forever now since all the new games are coming out and there's gonna be even more new games coming out and then we have Minecraft I just can't focus my entire attention on Minecraft like I used to. Summer Vacation was a great time because there was no new games out there, so Minecraft was like the only option for us to play, really. So now all these new games are coming out, everyone's playing the new games, not much as Minecraft, so you gotta understand, I'm pretty sure that you know yourself that you don't wanna, you don't focus on Minecraft so much when a new game comes out and you wanna get that game, and once you get that game, you just wanna play that game until you're bored of it, and who knows how long it takes for you to get bored of that game. So, yeah, that's the same thing with all the new games I'm having. Well, I still haven't really touched Resident Evil 6. I only beat Chapter 1. Those chapters are very long to complete. I still want to do a Let's Play on it, and there's three different versions you could do on that one. So it's going to be interesting to see how well that will go. And I got to see whether or not I could actually record longer than an hour without my computer having a black black screen. Apparently, if I were to actually put the server or software on for so long, it actually causes my computer to go black screen, the tower overheats, and then it shuts off. I think I have to dust it out. I have yet to dust that out. Yesterday was a windy day, so like it would have been a bad thing to actually go outside on a windy day to dust off the computer because you have no idea what's going to fly into the computer next. And it was cloudy, so I didn't want to risk a chance of getting a little sprinkle rain onto the tower. So, yeah, that would have been bad if the computer were to be destroyed because of that. So, I have to put that off until another day. Hopefully, I have a day off soon so I can clean out the computer and then check everything if, if it's alright. And then hopefully, that will actually fix the problem of having a black screen whenever the software runs for too long. So, there's a lot of things I gotta do. And for Operation Bedrock, it's that... It's that project that you'll do once in a while now, not every single day like we used to. And this is bad because I still want to invite a lot of people. I just haven't put it off. To, I just put it off for a long, long while. But at the same time, it is actually kind of a good thing that I didn't really have that all much hype into it. Is that if I were to invite people every single day and then I stop playing, people would have messaged me saying, Why have you stopped playing? Why have you stopped playing? Where are you? And if I didn't invite them in the first place, they won't have that, they just won't have that mindset. It's like, oh, he's not going to be always doing this. Or he's, or he's going to be doing this every single day. So now people know that I won't actually be doing this every single day as I wish I could. Because all the new games came out. And then, yeah, everyone wants to play the new games. And no one wants to play with Minecraft by myself. I don't want to play Minecraft by myself. It's just so lonely. I'm so alone. But, yeah. That's just how, that's just how it's going to work. 
Well, I could think of it as if I were to get a day off, like every now and then, I'll choose that one day to actually play Minecraft and continue on with the series so that I could actually go on my second Xbox Live account, which is Sword King Gaming. You could add that if you want, if you want to play Minecraft, so I don't know who wants to actually be in this. And we can work it out from there. It's just that we're going to either have to go here or actually down by the original skylight because I've been told that. Well, they're going to fix this in a bug update where we could actually have an option to toggle bedrock, bedrock fog, which is a little darkness fog that everyone's getting annoyed by it, that if you were to have something going down there and then all of a sudden it's all foggy, you can't even see anything, they're going to fix that where you could actually toggle that on and off, which I'm going to be very, very happy for. I wonder if it's the host that gets to toggle it, not the person in the other screen or other people because that would be interesting because I really have other ideas I was gonna actually make it the fog that was actually gonna make the fog a good thing but if everyone has options so that's gonna be a little tricky to actually do see if everyone is honest about it but who knows anything can happen so yeah there's a lot of things I want to do a lot of things that I plan on doing and then there's just a lot of things I am putting off to the side and this one of his Operation Bedrock. It's been two weeks since I uploaded the last episode. So I apologize if you are actually still here because of Operation Bedrock and you still haven't gone into the world. I'm still, I am still filming other people's worlds whenever I get a chance to. Like I said, not many people are playing Minecraft anymore. I've noticed it on my friends list and I've noticed it from a lot of people who message me about Minecraft. Not many people are actually playing Minecraft anymore. That's just the main deal. So it is it is kind of sucky to actually like play by yourself and as well as that I've been putting it off to the side for so long and now if I if I'm able to actually have a day off where I actually want to play Minecraft all day I'll probably go on my second account and just invite the people on my friends list there you could add Sword King Gaming it's S-W-O-R-D-K-I-N-G Gaming so there you go if you want to add that you may and if I am if I ever go on that account and play Minecraft, then I can just look in the friends list and then start inviting people on that friends list to play Minecraft. And then we could all go down here and then just start mining. And as you can see, the lag is catching up with me. I hate this. I want that to be fixed soon where the lag is gone. So look at that. The blocks are coming back as I just already shoveled it my way through. And since I already collected the blocks, next time I come back here, those blocks will be gone. So that's kind of an annoying bug that they have too, so that's something you have to deal with it for the time being until the bug fixes up here. And then once that's here, I'll actually make a video on that if people still watch my Minecraft videos. Because I notice that people watch my Minecraft videos more than they watch any of my other videos. Because again, I don't want to focus on Minecraft. Everybody usually focuses on Minecraft. I want to be able to do other things other than Minecraft. And the skeleton just died over there. So that's really nice of them. Oh well, that skeleton just popped out of nowhere. So, what else is new? Honestly, all my friends that used to play Minecraft every day, they're gone, honestly. They're playing Fallout 3, they're playing Borderlands, they're playing Assassin's Creed, they're playing Halo 4, they're going to be playing Black Ops 2 soon, I'm going to go to the midnight release of Black Ops 2, and then I'm going to show you the unboxing video of the Black Ops 2 Prestige Edition, unless someone already has it, because there's always a person who gets the special treatment that they get the products first so they can actually announce it and show everyone what it looks like before it even comes out, like ING, or IGN, I don't know why I say ING, that's a different one. IGN and then there's all the other popular people who get these products before everyone else which is unfair but yet it has its perks so you're able to tell everyone what it has and then people actually look at your channel so that you get more popularity and more views that's how it works and the little companies that give out stuff to people they get a good name too it's like oh they actually give out stuff maybe I should actually stay with them for a while to get to know every new thing that they have out and maybe they'll choose me to actually be the spokesperson for that particular moment I would love to be a spokesperson for something but I don't think I am that popular enough to actually go with that but who knows anything can happen you just gotta work your way through never stop dreaming and that is not what I always say it's just that it's, it's that moment that you just don't stop dreaming anything can happen a lot of people like to become commentators and it is quite easy to do it's just yet that you cannot run out of things to say and if you have if you're a person who has experienced many many things like stories to tell then it would be a perfect 
a way for you to actually tell your stories out while you're actually playing a video game where people would actually pay attention to the video game not as more as if you have a little face time on camera so that's all it is to say i would always wonder what it actually looks like for me to actually make a commentary as i'm or yeah making a commentary as i'm making a video if that actually makes sense because you already seen those face cameras this is what they call, I think it's called a face cam, where they play a game and then they have a camera to their face so they could actually have the same reaction as it is in the game. So it has that like real time live commentary type deal. I would, I would love to do that, honestly. It's just I don't have the software to do it and I need to buy the software. Hopefully my computer could handle the software where it doesn't crash on me. My computer is quite old. I think I'm going to have to get a, I'm going to have to buy a new computer for that. But who knows? Like I said, anything could happen. And as you can see, I am dying because I have no hunger. But look, it stops. This is what I'm trying to tell people. Nobody ever believes me. Nobody ever believes my friend. We we invite other people in the world. They say that they're dying. They're dying. It's like, no, you're not. You're just going to go half your health, and that's it. You're not going to go any further down because we are on easy mode. Not hard mode where you could actually die from hunger. We're on easy mode. The thing is, if you were to get damaged from then on forth, it won't heal back to half. Half the health that you had, of course. It's just that you can't. You're not. Un, well, you're un, unable to actually start healing yourself until the hunger bar is full. That's all it is. A lot of people apparently did not know that, and they keep t bugging us to give them food. There you have it. There's the proof. I'm not getting hurt anymore unless I were to jump down and get five hearts of damage. There it is. You're not gonna die from hunger. So if any new people come to my world and they ask for food because they're dying of hunger, we're just going to say no. You're not going to die unless you actually get yourself killed. That's all it is. So, yeah, this is pretty much Operation Bedrock right now. I'm working by myself. Not many, of my, not many of my friends are playing. And if there's still people that still play Minecraft every once in a while, I could have them help me out every once in a while. And I'm still filming people's worlds, I just have to go around to that. And I'm still working on fun things to do in Minecraft Xbox 360. And I already have one, it's almost halfway through. And then I'm going to have to have at least probably around 5 to 8, no, 7 people, counting myself. Or 7 people, counting myself, that would be 8. So I'm just going to have to have either 5 to 7 random people or friends to actually join me in this one. Because it's going to be fun for everyone. I guarantee it's going to be fun. It may be frustrating, but it's going to be fun. All I know is that... All it is is just patience and timing, and hopefully you don't get killed along the way. And then I have other things I want to do. There's still the other five worlds that I've made. I'm pretty sure a lot of them are in ice now because apparently the desert biome became a snow biome on this world. I still don't understand how that happened. A lot of people try to explain it to me, but honestly, how does that happen? And a lot of people are frustrated about that too because a lot of their creations on their world has now been snowed or iced over. So they got annoyed by that too. And I don't think that, I'm not too sure if that's going to be in the bug fix update. But there's a lot of channels out there that talk about the updates before it even comes out. And I'm always skeptical, skeptical about that. So I don't really pay much attention to it. I just wait till it actually happens and then I read what's actually true and what's actually there. Because honestly, anyone can make a skeptical video about anything, but if that's their thing, they can go with that. If I ever start doing that, I want to see if I can actually go into further research, see if everything that says is going to be true or not. Who knows? Anything could happen. That's pretty much like a theme right here. Anything could happen. Because a lot of things that we expected one day and the next day is not there. There's all expectations lost, hope is lost at that moment, and then yeah, we're just going to be mad until finally something happens. So, yeah, again, I apologize for the lateness of this video. I apologize for not inviting a lot of people here, and I apologize for everything that's going on with Operation Bedrock. It's that, again, how many people are actually focused on it? A lot of people has moved on to different games, and it's kind of, yeah, it's really, it sucks to actually be playing by yourself. But again, I don't want to give up on Operation Bedrock. I'll see it through, and maybe I could have... Like, a lot of my friends come by and help me out with this one, like, every now and then. Like, probably, like, pick a day for that to happen, but who knows? Winter break is almost here, and then we're going to have more time with that. Let's see if everyone wants to play, like, play some Minecraft, and then we're going to have summer break where we're going to have a lot of time to actually be doing this. 
since all the new games are going to become old and then people can get bored with that and then probably join Minecraft for that one time. But, like I said, anything can happen. Enough for, there's nothing else for me to say. So, I'm SirKeyZaraZero. Have a nice day, everybody. I will see you in the next video.